Mrs. Jones, why are you here today? I have been feeling dizziness for a few weeks, on and off, but it got worse in the last two days. What do you mean by dizzy? The room is spinning around. What triggers the dizziness? If I roll over in bed, when I get out of bed, moving from a seating to a standing position, or if I bend over or look up, any one of these actions can trigger it. How long does the spinning last? Sometimes a few seconds and sometimes a few minutes. Do you have any medical problems? Are you taking any medications? Do you have any allergies? No. Do you have any headache, blurred vision, nausea or vomiting, weakness, shortness of breath or chest pain? No. Only the dizziness, which is getting worse and very annoying. Can you please sit up in the bed? Let me examine you. Sure, Doc. Mrs. Jones, I see your eyes are moving very fast as you change your position. What does that mean? It is called nystagmus. Nystagmus is rapid, uncoordinated eye movement. It is usually associated with vertigo. Nystagmus may be horizontal, vertical, or rotational. I believe you have vertigo. What is vertigo? It is actually called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. It is episodes of dizziness or vertigo that is due to calcium pebbles in the posterior semicircular canal. To confirm my suspicion, I am going to do the Dix Alpike test on you. This test will confirm the diagnosis. The Dix Alpike is performed by asking the patient to sit up in bed with her head turned 45 degrees toward the affected air and then rapidly lysopine. If nystagmus occurs, this is diagnostic of BPPV. So what is vertigo? BPPV is a very common form of vertigo. It is due to calcium deposits in the posterior semicircular canal. It is triggered by bending over, looking up, standing up from a supine position, and turning over in bed. Dix Alpike is used to diagnose BPPV, while Epley Maneuver is used to treat. The Epley Maneuver is a maneuver that seeks to displace the calcium from the posterior semicircular canal back into the utricle. These are the steps. First, the patient sits up on the bed. Secondly, turn the head 45 degrees toward the affected air. Next, rapidly put the patient supine with the head in 45 degrees. While the patient is supine, the head should be hanging off the bed, still turned 45 degrees. Stay in that position for 20 to 30 seconds. Next, turn the head 90 degrees towards the unaffected air and hold for 20 seconds. Then, turn the patient so that the head is facing the floor. Finally, the patient is brought back into the upright position. Patients who have persistent vertigo in spite of the use of Epley maneuver may undergo a surgical procedure known as posterior semicircular occlusion. Well, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.